Today we're going to talk about forks and we're going to talk about sacrificing material to get a fork. We have a special guest today who's not here. That's why he's special. And his name is Arjun. You've never heard of him. Man, there was very little complaining. But people at home were like, I have. All right. And I played Arjun, and I played sort of crazy, and then I sacrificed all my pieces, and then his king wasn't so good. One thing I want to talk about today, especially we're talking about forks, is you need your pieces to move out. You can't move the same piece 10 times in a row. Your other pieces will be mad at you. They all file a lawsuit. Right? Okay, so this is my game with Arjun that was played 20 minutes ago. Okay, so we played my favorite Traxler variation. Most grandmasters play Bishop here because they're chicken. You know why? Because you are what you eat and they eat chicken. You know why I don't play that? You don't eat chicken. I don't eat chicken, I'm a vegetarian. So I play Knight F6. Okay, I'm not afraid of Knight G5. I double dared him to play Knight G5. Do they speak English and what? So he played knight to g5, attacking my f pawn. Okay, now, I could give a one hour lecture about this. Do you know why? Because I get paid by the hour. N nothing. That's still, that's still more laughs than usual. Okay, now, when I'm at a chess tournament, the most common move in this position is the worst. Most kids play h6, okay? Now, when white played knight to g5, white's idea, although I pushed the wrong button, so I guess he didn't do it. White wants to play knight takes f7. So forcing your opponent to do so is a little crazy. Now, nine out of 10 grandmasters play d5 here. Question? What? Oh, okay. And again, some of those grandmasters aren't vegetarians. So that's sort of a chicken move. D5, okay, now, the most common variation in children's games is the fried liver. Why don't I play that? Come on, I gave you the answer with the whole class. I'm a vegetarian, I don't play no fried liver. Now, the fried liver, unfortunately, is knight takes pawn, knight takes pawn. Although, no grandmaster would play this move, they would play knight A5 which is not the fried liver. Although most kids think this is the fried liver. Okay, terrible, okay? You know what else is terrible? Fried liver, terrible. Okay, now I played, whoa, oh no, this empty plastic bottle might fall. Okay, now I play bishop to c5, sacrificing everything. And my opponents are like, oh boy, a free everything. And they play knight takes f7. Notice how it's attacking my queen and my rook. So I resigned and Arjun won. Is that what happened? No. No. Okay. So instead, I played the book move, bishop takes f2 check. Now, I had this position yesterday, and my opponent took, or he played king e2. My opponent took, I played knight takes pawn check, and then I played queen h4 and he played queen f3, and I won a really crazy game. Now, white has more material, but white's king is on e3. Is that where you want your king? No. no. Okay. Now, Arjun didn't take my bishop. Arjun played king f1. Okay. Now, my queen's attacked, so I moved it. And then Arjun's like, thanks for the rook. He's very polite. And now, I forgot everything. Why did I forget everything? No, because I'm old. I can't remember theory. I looked at this 25 years ago. Okay, 25 years ago, you kids didn't know this position either. So you can't blame me, right? Okay, so you 25 yet? So you know the position. Okay, so I played queen c5, probably a bad move, but I don't know. Now I'm defending my bishop and I'm attacking his bishop. So he played d3 and I played d5. And he was like, thank you. And I played bishop to g4. Now, unlike some of you, I have all of my pieces out. Okay, his queen side, not, not so developed. A little bit, but not much. And his king is on f1, 
so he can't castle, and his rook is trapped. You know why my rook isn't trapped? Do you know why? Because he took my rook. Yeah. Okay, so white's up a rook, but I can castle queenside. He can't castle. I have all my pieces out. He has none of his pieces out. So unclear position. Probably computer would like white, but what, are you guys computers or humans? Human. Anyone? Human? Human? Yeah. What? Okay, so Arjun didn't want to lose his queen, so he played queen to d2. Not only, now here's something you guys might do wrong, maybe. When you attack somebody's piece, then they move it away, you're like, well, they moved it away. But maybe where they moved it is attacking one of your pieces. And that's what he did, because Arjun's mean, he's attacking my bishop. So I move my bishop away, solid. Okay, now Arjun played a move, mm, probably not the best, I don't know. He played g3, is that right? Yeah. Okay, and then I took your bishop, and now Arjun can take my knight or my bishop. Now let's analyze the situation. White is up a lot of material, but white's pieces are all in the back row and on my back row, and his queen is blocking his bishop, and he can't castle. All of black's pieces are great. Okay, that's called the sacrifice. You give some pieces or pawns away, but you checkmate your opponent. And checkmate has what vitamin? Vitamin C. Vitamin C for checkmate. Now Arjun didn't know which piece to take, so he started crying. And then he decided the two bishops are important, so he took this bishop. Okay? And then my knights attacked because my knights attacked. So I played knight f4. Now Arjun played the strangest move I've ever seen. Okay, and that's why he lost. Arjun was letting me win so I could give a lecture on the game. Thank you. Okay, this move is so strange, I'll bet you Arjun doesn't remember what he played. Do you remember? No. Yeah, see, I was right. Okay, now in chess, you should develop your pieces, castle, and play in the center. Is that what he did? He played king e1. He wants to castle later. Yes. Who can, me or him? White or black? Black. Right. But instead, I put my knight in the center. Now, if I was white, I wouldn't be worried about this move, and I wouldn't be worried about this move. On the other hand, I might be worried about both. Now he played a funny move. I like this move. This move's hilarious. You have a good sense of humor. What should white do to stop all my knight forks? This class is about forks. If you don't know what they are, you can go to the dining hall. They've got a lot of forks. You, you, what is Arjun's raising his hand? You. Also, weren't you watching this game? Me? We know. Well, you're the innocentist. Were you losing to Mike Comer during this game? The answer is no. You were beating Mike Comer. Then you hung mate and won. What's the answer? No, you didn't resign. You, 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 you never resigned. It does stop the night fork. Yeah. What's that? King D1. That gets the prize for the most illegal move. Because I have a bishop on G4. Does somebody have a prize? You, unknown person. Yeah. What's that? Very close. See. Now, if we go back in the game, his king was on f1. He went here, and now he went back to f1. That was funny, I thought. Okay, now, most of you like to take pieces. Some of you don't. You'll, you'll like this lecture, Paul, because this game was played since the last lecture. It's true, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, most of you would be like, oh boy, a free rook, look at me, I'm the best, right? Okay, you guys all have funny voices for some reason. Uh, now, I prefer vitamin C. Checkmate. checkmate. And when I checkmate my opponent, I use as many pieces as possible. Right? If I'm beating up you little kids, you might beat me up. So I get three or four of my friends to help, right? Oh, I know. Then if you're like a five-year-old and there's like six adults, we can take you. Unless you run away, then we give up. Yes. <laughs> 
I got more pieces into the attack, knight f3. I have so many pieces near his king, it's very confusing. Now, I have two threats. One threat you see, and one threat you don't see. You see knight takes queen. What's the threat you don't see? How can you raise your hand if you don't see it? I see it. What? I see it. Man, Arjun's raising his hand. <laughs> yes. That's correct, but I have a follow-up question. Do you do your own stunts? Yes. R look at your shirt. All right. Bishop. So he played queen to f2, and I traded queens, right? Because yeah. Yeah. you want to trade queens when you're checkmating somebody? No. 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 I played the other threat, bishop h3. If you're under the age of five, you have to leave now because you can't see this. Too young. I did it. I did it. Can I help you? Yes. Yeah, I have a question for you. Do you see your king is in check? Uh-oh. Okay, now most of you would think it's checkmate and shake hands, but Arjun's really good. He played the best move. Arjun. Queen G2, exclam. And then checkmate. Yeah. In real life and in chess, you don't want to walk into a fork. Ow. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> right? Hey, the kids, some of the kids got that. All right. Now, I want to show you something that happens a lot so I can yell at all of you. I haven't yelled at children in like an hour. Right. I'm getting rusty over here. All right. All right. Now, when I watch children play... Every game goes like this, and then I start crying. I don't even need to look at their notation sheet. Okay, every game starts like this. Raise your hand if you've had this position before. Come on, tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's better. Okay, now in this position, I tell my students who have the black pieces to make a very sneaky move. And then some of them actually remember. Most of them don't. Okay, and this is called the equalizing fork trick. Okay? No, no, don't jump up and down with a fork. You could hurt somebody. Have a seat. Hey, how come last class you were jumping up and down? Now they are. What happened? Did you transfer all your energy? All right, uh, Arjun. Two things. Two things? What's that? A pseudo sacrifice? And knight takes e4. Okay, so knight takes e4 is correct. Now, there's a little caveat, and the reason is, caveat's your favorite word. Yeah. Uh, right, good job. Yeah. This would have also been good. Yeah, they're very good. Okay, now, the caveat is, if black has a bishop on c5, this trick doesn't work. If your bishop is on c5, don't do this. I've actually seen kids do it, it's pretty funny. Now, the idea is, white says, thank you for the free knight, and now, Black does his favorite fork. Come on, people at, the, uh, people at home are like screaming at their television. There's D5. Okay, now Black sacrificed a piece, but he's going to get it back because he's going to win one of these pieces. I have this position a lot. Most of my opponents play here, here. Material's equal, shh, but look at my bishops. They have lots of places to go. Okay, don't get hit by a train. That's why we put that there. Man, class is slower than usual. Man, it's like a holiday or something. Okay, and, and, you, and you should go because it's green. All right, and then if you don't want to go, then you do this, right? Man, I couldn't make red arrows. Terrible joke. Okay, now I've seen some kids play bishop c5, which is okay. Castle. Then they do the same sacrifice. This doesn't work. Because after this, whoa, now your bishop is hanging. Thank you for the bishop. And you get this bishop, but if you're good at counting, white is up an extra piece. White has two knights and black has one knight. So when the bishop's on c5, you can't play this fork trick. This trick works all the time. I'll show you another example. I can show you a lot of examples. In this position, 
All the knights are out. Everybody's happy. Okay. Now, if super grandmasters are playing, they play bishop to b4. However, I used to play this with white before you were born and before you were born, but not before you were born. No, you, but not you. Yeah. Uh, I used to play this with white, and most of my opponents would play here. Now, what did I do that I just taught you? I taught you one minute ago, so it's a long time ago. You've played seven video games in the interim. Martin, what's the answer? What does white do? It's very tricky. What is it? Yeah, you're right. What? Yeah, I take. Then they take. And then I go here. Yeah, and I attack their pieces. And also, if they defend their knight, I don't take their knight, I go here. Then they're so confused. Okay, now look at the white bishops. They have millions of squares to move to, also known as 12 or so. And black's bishop can't move at all. And white has all the pawns in the center, and black loses all of his pieces in the center. So that's a good move. Most of my opponents make a mistake here and they sacrifice their bishop so my king doesn't move. My king can't castle. What do you think of white center? Good. good center. I have two bishops, a good center. Good for white. Computer would love white. So actually bishop c5 is not a good move because of the fork trick. Another fork trick, which I see all the time in kids games, is they develop their pieces too much. Then a pawn forks their pieces and they cry. Okay? When you get hit by a fork, it's natural to cry. Right? Okay? That's why when you get froyo, use a spoon. Right? Raise your hand if you've gotten froyo before. Raise your hand if you're getting froyo today, after class. He's, he's like, wait a minute, that's a good idea. Did you know froyo was like, Hmm, where should we have a Froyo store? Ooh, next to the chess club. That's a good idea. Is that what happened? Yes. Well, maybe. What do I know? Okay, now I'm going to show you these four tricks that people are falling into, but you guys would never fall into them, right? Never. Never. Okay, in this position, which I've seen before, a lot of kids play Bishop E6. Yay, all my pieces are out. It's good to put all your pieces out unless your opponent captures them. Then it's not so good. And now you're walking into a fork. Is there a prop I can show an example? There's not good. Uh, anyone? Anyone? D4. D4. See, you were so close. D4 attacks the bishop because I said so. The bishop moves away maybe. And now d5 and black cries. Because black played bishop e6 walking into a fork. So bishop not good on e6. Bishop anywhere but e6 or f5 or h3. Bishop g4 is good. Bishop d7 is good. Castling is good. If you have a bishop here and a knight here, that means a pawn here will fork them. So you have to watch out for that and be careful. If you put your pieces on certain squares, you don't want pawns to fork them. Now I'm going to tell you a secret. Don't tell the people at home on the internet. Don't tell them. They, they won't be able to hear this because of magic. Okay? You're going to hear it, but they won't. Okay? Actually, we could make that happen. Yeah, they could make that happen. Yeah. Okay. So in this position, if you have a knight on a dark square and a bishop on a white square, a pawn can't fork them, a knight can't fork them, and a bishop can't fork them. But when you shh, shh, but when you play bishop e6 and they're both on white squares, that means a pawn could fork them, or a knight or a bishop. The best thing to fork with is a pawn. Because when you fork two pieces or three pieces and you lose your pawn, you're going to get something better. 
If you fork with a queen and you lose your queen, that fork didn't work very well. That was the worst ever. Stop humming. Yeah, there's no humming in class. Wait, this is all wrong. Everything I did was wrong. Okay, now I'm great. Let's look at this position so that the class is less confused. Okay, this is a fork. It's the worst fork ever. If you get this fork, you should ask for your server and get a new fork. This fork won't work at all. Okay, so this queen is attacking this pawn, and it's attacking this pawn. But you don't want to take either pawn because you'll lose your queen. So queens forking pawns, not too good. Pawn forking a king and queen, very good, right? So you want to take little pieces, ones that you can't see, and fork big pieces, ones that you need help carrying, like the ones across the street. Are those big pieces? No. Right? We know. Like, for example, some people eat dinner, and some people go across the street and play chess during dinner. Who would that be? She's looking all innocent there. I don't know. Guilty. Yes? No, you're not guilty. You're innocent. So here, this doesn't work. If, if white takes this pawn, that's terrible for white. And if white takes this pawn, that's terrible for white. That's not a good fork. A good fork is when your pawn is forking big pieces. Okay, and every piece is bigger than a pawn, so that works out well. Not all forks are good. Now I'm going to show you another trick that's based on a fork. Pretty cool trick. Nobody knows it but me, and because I used to be a kid, and tricks are for kids. Knight here, oh no, pawn takes, and then e4, and then bishop e3. And now, white wants to take the pawn and say, yummy, 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 yummy. And black says, no, I'll defend my pawn. Ha ha. That's the worst move ever. Well, I've seen worse. Come on, I saw you guys play upstairs earlier. Come on. OK, now, white has an amazing move that will shock all of you. You have to be at least three to sit in class. What's the shocking move? That's shocking? What shocking mean? Exactly. Shocking means you're very surprised. Okay, you see how the knight defended the pawn? Yeah, Wouldn't it surprise you if white took it? Would that surprise you? That's surprise. That's surprise, yeah. But that move's okay. So black plays the obvious move. Yeah. And now, this class is about forks, so what does white do? This class is about oh. forks. Oh, have a seat. Bathroom's over there. Yeah. No, no, you at home too. Sit down. Yeah, I, don't jump off your couch. Come on. Anyone? Yes. You can go to the bathroom, but you have to pay. No, no, it's free today. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. It's free. Okay, yes. Yeah. Queen A4 check. The queen attacks the king, and the queen attacks the knight. White gets his knight back. Now, before we do class dismissed, which is the best part of class, yeah. we're going to show two funny examples of people doing that trick to me, but it didn't work. So they lost. Then what did they do? Wow. They cried. OK, now don't blink, because the first game ends really fast. My opponent was rated 1950. Ooh, right? OK, yeah. Okay, and I was black, and remember that trick I just showed you? Yes. My opponent's like, hey, I'm going to do that trick now. He must have gone into the future and saw this class, then went back to the game. He took my pawn. I took his knight. What did he do? Queen A4. Queen A4. And now I made a move he didn't see, and he cried. O oh. Oh is incorrect. You. Queen to d2, I did not see. Bam. Double check. Oh, that's illegal. Yeah, but look how awesome it is. It's a free it's illegal. I assume he meant queen to d7. Okay. But white's yeah. threatening this bishop, and white's threatening the king. So what did black do to save them both? Arjun, have a seat. You. Oh, sorry.
Here? Yeah. Right, now that's okay, but then white's gonna play queen takes bishop. You don't want whites to play queen takes bishop. Hey, you guys said the exact same time. That, you both get the gold medal. Yes. No, the one who does his own stunts. Ah, uh, nobody else in the class knew that, especially Arjun. Pawn to b5, and my opponent resigned. Yes. Is that what you would do? No. He's the worst, right? He's down He's down a piece. He's down a knight. Okay. Now, I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan. He didn't know that he would lose his knight, but I know about working on my knight moves because I'm from Ann Arbor. Right? No, no Bob Seeger fans here? Okay. Now, the last one, which also happened in Ann Arbor, well, the first one didn't, I was white, and we can't flip the board. Hey, I did. And he played my favorite pizza. The Sicilian. Sicilian. Okay, I sacrificed a pawn, and he's like, no. He played in the center with this move. He, ha he has his own center. It's not like ours. Okay, and I said, yummy, 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 yummy. And he called the director and said, my opponent said, yummy, 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 yummy. And the director said, well, yeah, he took a pawn. That's okay. Yeah, the director was on my side. Now he went here to take the pawn, and I protected my pawn. And guess what he did? He took the pawn anyway. And I took the bishop. And what did he do? This guy was rated 1,500 plus tax with no tax. Tax is lower in Michigan. Martin, what did black do? Queen A5. Queen A5. Attacking my king and attacking my bishop and I went to Kokomo and I said Kokomo. What's the best move? And what did he say? B4, B4. All right. Okay, my opponent did not resign. He lost later Right, so do forks always work? No, no. no. but don't walk into a fort because that hurts and now I just called Magnus Carlson He just texted me and what did he say? They come to Norway. No, no. What did he say? Magnus just texted me. Obtain the queen. <laughs> Man, you kids, I sent you the script last night. Did any of you read it? No. What? Terrible. Yeah, yeah. You don't know. You don't come to class enough to know. Yes. Obtain the queen. Yeah, he would, he would have said that with that accent, too. Yeah. Now, Magnus Carlson said my two favorite words. Class dismissed. <laughs>